welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, we are setting up a new rabbit cage. That's right, we got a new rabbit hutch. We got rid of our old one. And um, you can see that the old one is um, not suitable for rabbits. There's plenty of space, but um, you won't be able to reach in and grab your rabbit if you need to take them somewhere. Yeah. So um, this one, which we're building right now, I'm gonna come zoom over here, is by this company named Avituvin, which I'm not too sure um, if it's like any particular brand company, but I found them on Amazon. I did a lot of shopping. And we're still in the middle of assembly. This is only half the hutch. There's gonna be more with like a ladder going up. We picked this particular model because we didn't want anything on the bottom because we wanted the rabbits to still be on the pavers when they're running around inside their hutch. Because you can tell we have grass over here mm -hmm. that they can run whenever they want. It's fake grass. It's fake grass, but it's still grass. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we don't want them spending forever in a hutch, but we do want them to have an outdoor hutch whenever they feel like they need um, some protection. Yep. Now, um, we're not done assembling all the pieces, so there's still some mm -hmm. pieces over there. Sure. And over there. Let's circle around. Hi. And the rest <laughs> of the pieces are over here. Yep. The assembly booklet is actually pretty good. Um, let me show you. Um, these are the tools we're using, so it's just literally a screwdriver and, and a drill. Drill does definitely speed things up. Um, the instruction booklet is not too detailed, but it's better than most instruction booklets I've seen and it's written in pretty good English, so that's pretty impressive. And it's just me and the kids building this, so it's not like we need like professionals assembling this thing. So it is pretty straightforward, and I like how I have a lot of options on how I can assemble this. So we're just gonna keep on going and see how far we get, and we'll let you know in just a bit. All right, so KK right now is trying to show you that we could have assembled this two different ways. Yeah. Um, the ladder, so you can see that this piece is for where the ladder is going to go up. So either the ladder can go on this side with the second piece um, attaching to the right, or you can put that to the left-hand side. Oh, yeah! Over here, and then you get to put the ladder on this side. So it's completely flexible as to how and where you want to put the ladder. Okay, so this is the ladder, and it's made out of wood. Okay, so we're having trouble putting the ladder to this part right here. According to the directions, we are supposed to screw it somehow right here, but then there's no holes here. So I, don't, I guess they're gonna ask us to drill on our own to put the ladder in, which is kind of weird. Also, um, construction on this, as you can tell, is already kind of bad to begin with. So for 100, almost $150, it's really shoddy construction but I believe that's what a lot of other um, buyers have said about this brand. So definitely buyer beware. You might get lucky with some pieces, you might not. So um, you can tell there's already some damage to this product and we just took it right out of the box. Okay, so my mom just finished drilling in this ladder. Yep, so I had to drill myself and I um, nothing a drill can't solve. And the ladder is officially in we shall see how sturdy it is. Yes. But again, you definitely need two people to do this because one person has to make sure it's, you know, it's pushing the other side of this hutch while you are assembling certain things because it's actually very light. This is very light wood. So it's very fragile and I'm sure the rabbits will probably finish chewing through it in about a year or so. Okay. So I don't think it's gonna really last that long with rabbits. All right, so this is where we are at at the moment. We have finished one roof already, and we are on to the final roof. So all you gotta do is just do two pieces and then put that little slab in the middle and then it's all done. So remember that broken piece where that little part came off? Um, that was this slab right here. But it turns out that didn't make a difference because as long as there's one and you have the nails, it'll hold everything in place. So. Good thing that was a small error. It doesn't jeopardize the assembly. So that's a good thing. So we're gonna keep on going. We're almost done. All right, so we are almost done. We got the roof on and they gave us three of these latches. Now um, there is a slight little problem. So number one, this is good. 
a latch here because you can let your rabbits come in and out from the top part. Um, they already installed a latch there, which is really nice. So you can let the rabbits in and out of that one. Um, they gave us a block here basically and let us do another latch over here to close them in and out. And then one more door for this side. So you can do a latch here and let the rabbits roam in and out. Now, um, unfortunately, this door here does not have a lock or latch of any kind. So the rabbits can just literally push this door open and come in and out anytime they want. So there is no latch. I don't know if this is a design flaw on purpose or if they just forgot that this door needs a latch. So something to consider when you're purchasing this product that there is an open door that your rabbit can come out of anytime they want. Okay, so um, we took the extra piece of wood that was remaining to us. Um, we kind of just winged it. I know this little piece still um, flaps, but we're probably just gonna use glue to glue that piece there. But at least it creates a latch to that door. So if you end up thinking about getting this, I mean, that is one way around it, but although I think that's a very serious design flaw to this um, otherwise pretty decent rabbit cage in its price point. Because I've seen other ones that's fancier, but they do cost a lot more. So for $150, this is decent. It's not the best, but I mean, there's a lot of room for improvement. But we'll see what happens. See how the rabbits like it. Okay, so right now is the first time Honey is going inside her new hutch. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit of drama making it, but we got it. And I think immediately, hi, Honey, what do you think? Do you like it? Yeah, I like the fact that that door can swing completely open. Just keep it completely open. Do you like it? You even have a second story now if you want. Yeah, what do you think? Oh, she's gonna make a run for it. She's like, I'm not going in there yet. I don't trust that place yet. Yeah, so it's gonna take um, probably a day or two for her to get used to it. This is just her outdoor hutch. Um, she has an indoor one too. But um, no, 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 you always keep that open. And that's it guys. Uh, yeah. We are done with, uh, I guess this unboxing. If you like this video and give it a big thumbs up and tell me in the, in the comments down below if you like this. Bye!